In this video, I'm going to show you how to instantly fix a runny nose. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So in this video, I'm going to show three different ways to instantly relieve a runny nose. Each method works just a little bit differently. So to get the best results, go through them all and use what works best for you. With that being said, let's get started. So here's my personal way to quickly fix a runny nose. This one works really well. The only thing you need are a couple different things. The first being what is called saline nasal spray. I don't know if you can see it over the video right here, but you want one that says non-medicated, no drug, no drugs, just salt or a saline solution. This stuff is really inexpensive. You can pretty much find it at any local pharmacy. If you would like to get it online, I'll leave a link in this video's comment section and description. The next being a whole bunch of tissues. This one is literally going to be Niagara Falls. So make sure that you have a ton on hand. So what usually causes a runny nose is a buildup of mucus and congestion from irritants like smoke or allergies, but also from infection from viruses and bacteria. So to help with the runny nose, we just need to get rid of all of that mucus and congestion as quickly as possible. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take our index fingers and start right here at the top of the nose, at the corner of the eyes. And if you do have long nails, please use caution. What you're going to do is just gently press into that area, just enough pressure where it feels deep, but not causing any discomfort. I like to hold this for about three to five seconds, release it, and then go down a little bit, repeating this the whole length of my nose going down towards my nostrils. And I just go a little bit below them too. From there, I go off to the side over the cheek right here and then repeat. What we're focusing on doing is going over the sinuses to break up that congestion. And when you do this, you're probably going to find that one certain spot like right here on the right side for me, is just really tender. That's probably a pocket of inflammation that's causing a lot of congestion. So at that point, you wanna stop over that spot and just keep repeating this over and over again until you finally feel it break up and come down. And if it doesn't feel like it wants to release, at that point, I would start to throw some movements in there, maybe like circular motions right here with your finger. You can also hook on it and just pull it over just like this. You might find that with those movements, it works a little bit better. And if you do have one spot that's really stubborn, you can then do kind of like the jackhammer. Use a little bit of percussion, so kind of tap on it like this, because just like a jackhammer, it will slowly chip away at it. But again, don't cause any more discomfort. So after we pretty much have everything broken up and it's starting to come down, at that point, we really wanna take this one to the next level and just flush it out as quickly as we can. And this is where our nasal spray is going to come in. So this is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is start with one nostril and we're gonna close the other side off. So just take a finger on the other side, clamp down on it like this so you can't breathe out of it. And you might wanna do this one in front of a sink because it can become pretty messy. But you're just going to kinda of stick the nozzle right here up your nose and give it a good couple sprays. You don't want to inhale this stuff either, just let it come back down, let gravity just pull it back down. But what you're going to notice is, is that all of that congestion is gonna mix with that salt solution and just bring all that down. So what I like to do to even take this one to the next level is kind of get a tissue ready right here and then just do the old classic snot blow. So just blow that gunk out as much as you can and then just repeat this on the other side. But this is just a really easy, safe way to just clear all of that gunk out of your nose. And the great part is you can use this throughout the day. So another really easy way to clear up all of that congestion in your nose to quickly relieve a runny nose is by doing this one. This is like an old outdoorsy trick. So for most people, you're gonna have one side that's worse than the other. If you don't know which side, this is the easy way to figure out. Just take a finger, close off one nostril, and then inhale. See what it sounds. Sorry for the gross sounds during this video too. And then you're just gonna close off the other side and then repeat. You're gonna notice that on that left side, there was a lot more congestion. So that's the side that I'm gonna focus on. This one, pretty straightforward. What we're going to use is our thumb right here, and we're just going to place it right under the cheekbone on the side that feels like it is the most congestion. So in this case, I'm gonna do it on the left. You're just gonna take your fingers and then grip off to the side of your head for support, just like an anchor point. From here, what you want to do is lift up with this thumb right here, right on that cheekbone to mechanically help open up that nasal passageway. And you're gonna take your finger on your other side and just clamp down on your nose so you can't breathe out of it. From here, you're just gonna take a deep breath in. And you wanna do this about five to 10 times, just five deep breaths. 
Because what you're going to notice is with each breath, it just opens it up a little bit more to the point where that congestion is breaking up. So at that point, hopefully it will slowly start to improve your runny nose. But this is how you can really take it to the next level by using what is called vapo rub right here. I'm sure that you've seen this stuff before. Everybody knows what it smells like. It's kind of interesting because most people associate this with really helping with your nose, like um, opening it up, I should say. But really what it does is it tricks your brain into thinking that your nose is opening up because it has the ingredients menthol and also another one called camphor. So camphor will just make it where it seems like that nasal passageway opens up. It tricks the brain so you can breathe a little bit easier. So what I like to do is pretty much just inhale this a couple times and get that camphor in there and then proceed to do this movement because you're probably going to notice is that it takes it to the next level, opens up that nasal passageway a little bit quicker and it will help get rid of that runny nose. Give it a try. So one of the best ways to get both quick and long lasting relief for a runny nose is to open up your sinuses and improve lymph drainage. Here's a really easy way to cover all bases. Let's start by focusing on the frontal sinus right up here towards the top of the nose. So let me break this one down and then I will demonstrate it. Essentially what you're going to do is use your thumb right here, the tip, just put your fingers together. You're going to apply pressure right here at the top of your nose, just enough to the point where it's going to feel deep but not causing any discomfort. And then from there, you're going to stick your tongue towards the roof of your mouth, hold that during this exercise, and then you're going to do a light humming motion and then wiggle your hand back and forth. So it looks just like this. So when you do that, you're gonna feel a light tickle throughout your nasal cavities. What this is doing is causing vibration, especially over a bone in the middle of your nose called the vomer bone. And it's going to just help break all of that gunk up, that congestion, hopefully it cause it to drain to the point where you can blow it out and quickly get rid of that runny nose. But I like to do this about three to five times. But if it is working, you can definitely throw in a couple more repetitions. If you also want to focus on a larger area with this one, you can actually use both thumbs and just go right off to the corner of your nose right here at the top and do it. You can also go down just a little bit more. I would actually experiment going above the eyebrows too. So going just a little bit above the nose and then off to the side. If you find that any spot is tender, at that point that could be a spot of inflammation that you really wanna focus on a little bit more. So next let's move down a little bit and go into the maxillary sinuses, right off to the side of the nose. For this one, I like to take two fingers, my index and middle finger and make hooks with them and start right here at the top of the nose. I apply pressure right at the side of the nose and then I just sweep like this over the cheekbone. I go over one spot a couple times and then just move down and repeat this all the way down towards the bottom of the nose over the nostrils. Again, what you're going to find is that one certain spot, like maybe right over here on this right side just feels really tight and achy. At that point, I would go over that spot just a little bit more. And if you do have one pinpoint spot that doesn't want to release, at that point you can do that vibration movement in here just like this. But for this one, you don't have to stick your tongue up towards the roof of your mouth. But I would hum because it will help, again, just break up that congestion a little bit more. So at this point we should definitely start to have some drainage coming down. So try to blow that gunk out as much as you can. But we also want to focus on trying to improve our lymph flow because that's going to help flush all of that nasty stuff out, including possible viruses and bacteria, and it will just help get rid of it safely. So what I'd like to do is just kind of take the outer portion of my hand right here, I should say my inner portion of my hand on the pinky side, and I'm just going to kind of put that meaty portion of my palm right towards the side of my jaw underneath my ear. And what I do is just apply enough pressure in there and then I just sweep down like this towards my Adam's apple, towards my collarbone. I like to sweep down roughly about three times and then I just move down a little bit more and then just keep doing this over the side of the neck. For the front of the neck, since it's a little bit more tender, what we want to do is take our fingers and make kind of like a rake with them. And then just kind of go right behind the ear and just spread your fingers across your throat. And you're just going to sweep like this, going towards the front of your neck, 
towards the top of your collarbone. And again, sweep over it roughly about three times, but if it is helping out, you can definitely throw a couple more repetitions in. So last movement is now focusing a little bit above our collarbone. So let's take our index fingers and our middle fingers, and what we're going to do is start right here over the top of the collarbone. And we're just going to kind of feel right in there. And you're just going to press in that area and do a light circular massage for about five seconds. And then from there, just move a little bit over the top of the collarbone and then repeat this pretty much the whole length going towards your shoulders. If you do find that any of those spots are a little bit more tender though, I would try to throw a couple more repetitions into and help again, improve that lymph flow. But go through all of that. Again, it's a, just a really easy method that you can use throughout the day and you might find that it not only gives you quick, but also long lasting relief for a runny nose. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.